Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. The focus in this lesson is on finite and non-finite verbs. Finite verbs are in close relationship with the subject in terms of person uh, such as he, I, you, she, if the subject is singular, and we, you, they, when the subject is plural. And also it is uh, in agreement with the tense of the sentence or clause, uh, be it uh, past or present. As an example, Sofia as a third person singular, but the time indicator is every day, which shows that it is the present. So the verb uh, ride is in uh, the present tense and takes S of third person singular. The next example uh, deals with uh, third person singular too. Uh, but the time indicator is yesterday, which means that the tense is the past. So the verb ride is or becomes rode in agreement with the tense of the sentence. The next uh, examples the changes concern the subject and the verbs uh, are in agreement with the uh, with the subject uh, in terms of person and number for example verb to be becomes uh, am uh, and in the second uh, example uh, becomes is because uh, the subject is the second person singular the third example, the verb becomes are uh, because the, uh, the, the subject is uh, plural. Now, uh, in the following examples, the change takes place at the level of the time indicator which becomes last time. So, verb to be in agreement with uh, this component it becomes was and in the second example it is also was in agreement with the the subject but in the third example the verb becomes uh, were in agreement with the plural and the uh, the tense of the sentence. So all these verbs are finite verbs. So uh, uh, now uh, in, uh, in, uh, to summarize what we have said about uh, finite verbs. So they are in agreement with the uh, two uh, grammatical components. The first one is subject in terms of n number and a person and the second component is the sentence tense either past or present now uh, we will deal with non-finite verbs these uh, these verbs function in sentences as uh, infinitives gerunds and participles. In, uh, uh, so uh, uh, we will deal with the participles, uh, and uh, we uh, uh, hear the the present participle. There is present participle and past participle. The, the form is a verb plus ing, such as driving, dancing, uh, and learning. In the example, John, uh, and the verb is to drive, a car, 
So it becomes uh, John is driving a car. So here the present participle driving is non-finite and works with the finite verb to be to form the continuous tense. The second example, the child has a dancing doll. Uh, uh, so dancing here is non-finite and it functions as an adjective modifying doll. The third example, the film is interesting, interesting non-finite uh, it works with the, the finite verb is and it functions as a predicative uh, adjective which modifies the, the film. It is predicative adjectives uh, because it follows the, uh, the, the verb, the linking verb is. Now past participle, its form is uh, the third form. Uh, depending on uh, the, the type of the verb, whether it is uh, uh, irregular or regular. So she has driven her car. Here driven is past participle. It is non-finite and it, uh, uh, it is used here to form the present perfect tense. The second example with the, the pencil is mine. If we ask the question, which pencil? The broken one, so broken uh, is uh, uh, is an, uh, a past uh, participle used here as an attributive uh, adjective which modifies the pencil, answering the question which pencil. Dinner is served, so predicative served, and a predicative adjective, it modifies uh, uh, dinner, and oh, uh, as 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 we know, that is is uh, a linking verb. Now we go to gerund. Gerund, uh, of course, the form of the gerund is verb plus ing, and here it is used as a noun. So the gerund here is swimming. Is is uh, the uh, the finite verb. So swimming is a gerund acting like a noun and functions as a subject. She loves reading. Loves is the finite verb, but reading non-finite uh, and it is a German uh, uh, acting like a noun and functions as a direct object of uh, the verb uh, loves. His favorite sport is skiing so skiing is a predicate uh, noun uh, following the linking verb to be they save money save is finite verb shopping is a complement it is, uh, it is the complement of preposition for. Now we go to uh, non-finite verbs functioning as infinitives. And there are uh, uh, they function uh, as nouns, adjectives and adverbs. The first example to run is often tiresome. So, to run is an infinitive acting as a noun and it functions within the sentence as the subject of the finite verb is. The second example, the teacher wants the student, the student is direct object, to write. So, to write functions as the complement of the direct object, the student. His ambition is to fly. So, to fly here is uh, non-finite and it, it functions as the subject complement because it re-identifies the subject after the linking verb uh, to be. 
Now we go to adjectives. This is a book to read. So read, to read provides uh, about uh, information about uh, the book. Uh, in this example, okay, which, uh, uh, which give information about the use of non-funny adverbs as adverbs, so to learn, answer the questions, uh, why do we, do, we, do we read? Uh, you uh, are uh, kindly asked to uh, answer this question in the discussion forum, and thanks for your attention.